I know you've always been interested in developing medical devices. So before we move on to your new role as Chief Medical Officer at Pulse Biosciences, can you tell us a little bit about some of the companies you've worked for and devices? Yeah, I mean, this goes back to the right place at the right time, luckiest oh. guy in the world. I mean, honestly, I, I don't, I can't even pretend to to say that it was it was uh, something that I could have drawn up if I if I knew any better. But when I first came out and I was working at El Camino Hospital, it's part of Stanford, I got to know a cardiologist named Fred St. Gore. Well, people in the device world know Fred St. Gore. He came up with this mitral clip device, which is a way to repair mitral valves. Well, I think just knowing him, he had me in mind as a local heart surgeon. When, a, when there was a new valve company, at the time it was called 12, uh, was developing a, a type of valve to replace the mitral valve percutaneously, and they needed somebody to do animal experiments and work with the engineers and some general science. They also had another heart surgeon named Jim Fan, who I'm a big fan of, uh, who I worked with at Stanford for a long time. So, uh, I got to work with this valve company that ultimately worked its way through the process of, you know, you work on animals and then ultimately you have first in man experimentation and then ultimately you are, you know, doing clinical trials. And then that valve got bought by Medtronic, which is a big oh, you know, yeah. behemoth of a, yeah. of a, of a company. Uh, after that, I've worked with a couple other valve companies as well and kind of got a general feel for something I never learned about in medical school or residency, which is, how do devices go from inception to testing to regulatory process to actually commercialization? Uh, when it came to Pulse, um, I was given a talk in Boston on AFib surgery, my specialty. And outside, you know, other than, you know, I, again, I got lucky because basically the, the, uh, the, the C-suite, more or less, the CEO and the chief technology officers uh, of the company were there because they, uh, well, the CEO lived in Boston and they had been invited to the meeting and, and they saw me up there talking as a heart surgeon about atrial fibrillation and I lived in Napa uh -huh. and they were California based yeah. and were doing a lot of their work in the Sacramento area. And they came up to me afterwards and said, hey, what do you think about this? And started, we started talking about their devices. We started, I started learning a little bit about their company, their energy. And this is a company that had been around for a while. So again, right place at the right time. And it really was a kind of a magical connection between uh, me and them. And that's what it's all about. You have, whether it's in an operating room, whether it's on a, a device team, whether it's you know mm -hmm. any any um, uh, you know modality or work, the team is what makes things click. 